EP diagram is brand new on the Apple App Store, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial video on it. Let's open it up. This is the kind of screen you see after you've made a whole bunch of diagrams, but to get started, you create a new diagram. And you see up here is blank, down here is a ladder grid, which is also blank, so we'll open up a uh, image which uh, I previously downloaded. So you can either go to your files or your photos. So I have a file here somewhere. Uh, let's see, on my iPad. There it is. All right, so we have a uh, wanky Bach sort of rhythm strip. And um, of course you can this is not how it looks with a real iPad, but you can zoom it up and scroll it around. And all the zooming and scrolling is done using the image, which is at the top here. Um, you don't zoom and scroll down here. So you can adjust the um, size of the ladder, but let's just go ahead and make a few marks on the ladder. So to do that, you have to tap. Or you can tap up on the EKG. And if you tap once and then tap away, the cursor goes away. If you tap back on the mark, the cursor reappears. If you keep tapping on the mark or on the cursor, the anchor point, which is a little circle, changes. And we'll see what that does in a moment. And uh, kind of a shortcut to create a mark is to just double tap and if you double tap again it goes away so you double tap and then you single tap to change where the anchor point is now the anchor point is in the middle and you slide things along you can just move and align the mark wherever you want it to go if you put the anchor point on the top or bottom you can slant the mark like that. Now again, I'll double tap and make it disappear. Now we'll, we'll explain these little dots in a, in a moment. You notice this A region is highlighted. That's where the marks are going to go if you tap on the EKG. Now I can tap down here in V and it changes to the V. So if I tap on the V's, the marks go in the right place. And I should take this moment to point out that you can undo all this. You just hit undo and backtrack or redo and get to where you were. Okay, so we're missing an A here. And I screwed up, put it in the wrong region, so I'll put it there. And there we go. Okay, now you can also, let's change to the AV region. We can also drag to create marks, uh, kind of like so. And if you're accurate enough, the mark will end up connecting. But if you're not accurate like I was, you can just slide it in and it'll connect. And these being connected means that you actually, they'll move together. So if I slide this along, uh, the connecting mark will move as well. But an easier way to do that is to use the connect mode, which you just connect marks by tapping them. So I'll tap this mark and this mark, and they'll connect, and this mark, and this mark, and this mark, and this mark. And uh, we can scroll along here. Now we have block here, so let's see what happens here. So I'll make a mark up here, and I'll make a mark here, and I'll make the uh, can tap down here also to make a mark in the for the V. We'll connect these two at the end here, but here we have no connection. So we can tap here and then connect inside the area block and we'll get a blocked beat. So that's pretty, pretty nice. We can undo and redo what we just did. Now you'll see we have some block markers here and we also have these dots which are supposed to correspond with impulse origin 
And the app figures that out by itself, though it's not always correct. And you can you can change this. But uh, we'll look at calibration here. So this is an interactive ladder diagram, so you can actually calibrate it and you get a cursor which is set at a thousand milliseconds and you've got to actually move it to a thousand milliseconds. So two, four, six, eight, ten. And so you set that and suddenly you have numbers. And of course if you change your intervals, the number is going to change on the fly. And the numbers are the conduction time and the uh, intervals, the uh, cycle lengths in between the marks. So actually, let's actually undo that. Get rid of that. Okay. See, let's see what controls that. You have all these options over here on the side. The preferences menu controls the appearance of the diagram and one of the options you have is show impulse conduction and show block so you can turn these off um, and now um, you don't see those those markers the other way to edit the diagram is to go to the edit menu and with the edit you select what you're trying to edit uh, you can tap on a mark and uh, tap on a mark and untap uh, to unselect or you can tap a whole region or you can drag uh, select a zone having done that you long press and you have all these different uh, options so we want to change the style we can make everything dashed um, or we can um, we can move marks as a unit like this. We can uh, uh, copy and paste. So we've copied this. We can just tap and paste in a copy of it. There's a whole lot of options. And uh, of course we can delete whole sets of marks so look at that menu. Let's turn back on the block and the impulse uh, origin. Let's actually uh, delete these marks. Okay, so let me create a mark in the middle here. You know, we talked about sliding the marks along, but this only moves the marks in a horizontal direction. You also have the option to uh, get the cursor on the mark and then long press the cursor. Now you have a omnidirectional cursor. So you can actually now move the mark kind of anywhere. And if you change the point, you can do whatever you want with it. So long press it again, it's back to being a regular mark cursor and it just moves horizontally. So I'll do a more advanced tutorial um, later on, but uh, this is, should be enough to get you started.